Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well. Today I wanted to talk to you about this amazing drawing by Hermann Wohler. He's a German artist from the 20th century, but of course when you look at this drawing you can feel the influence of 19th century art. Wohler was the student of Fidus and he was influenced by symbolism, mysticism, esotericism, and especially the Kabbalah. If you look at this representation of the Garden of Eden, you can see the symbol of the Kabbalah vision of the world. First of all, you have all these black lines around the composi composition that creates the idea that you are in a tunnel. You are not inside the garden, you are just arriving. You are on the path to discover the light. Then if you look at the light, there's almost like a rain of light coming from the sun. That's another very important idea, that water and fire, water and light, created the world. And that is why at the horizon you see the sea and mountains coming from it. So it's a very intellectual way to represent this vision of paradise. The other quality of Waller is his technique. If you look deeper into the drawing, it's amazing because each and every detail is just done with ink. There's nothing else. Each and every little dot, each and every little line. The format of the paper was quite huge, so you can imagine that there was something quite meditative for Waller to create these drawings. If you look at the sun once again, you can see that it's beautiful because Waller left it undone. You can feel the paper and it's the way he represents the ink around it that creates the light. Waller, during his lifetime, was a professor at the academy. He was not a public artist, he was not famous, and he got almost forgotten. It's at the end of the 20th century that we start rediscovering it. Today, when a drawing by Waller appears on the market, it's always just an amazing surprise. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next week. Bye!